My name is James Pick and I am the Business Development Director for Survey Construction at Copters. We're here today to survey Coningsborough Viaduct using the Emerson Hover Map. The Emerson Hover Map is a LiDAR-based slant system which it can be utilised on the backpack, on a vehicle, on the hand or on a drone and in this case we're utilizing it on the DJI M300 RTK. So why we use the Emerson hover map system today is that it's a fast easy to use lidar based system which can be put on the very popular DJI M300 RTK. Also why we're using the hover map on today's survey is that we can use it in the autonomy mode so plus and the full autonomy package. What that means is that we can collect data very fast and efficiently whilst utilizing the VESH around the drone. What this means is that we can fly very close to critical infrastructure without uh, hitting or um, damaging the drone. College of Viaduct is 150 feet high and 1500 feet long. Uh, we're here today using the hover map system as a fast and efficient way of collecting survey data. This tradition would have taken a couple of days uh, utilizing a laser scanner and we've actually managed to complete the survey today in two flights on the M300 RTK, which took a total flying time of 50 minutes. To make sure that we captured all the relevant data, we utilized the hovermap system on a drone and also on the backpack as well. Utilizing Emerson's easy to use software, we've managed to merge them data sets fast and efficiently with no heartache. Typical problems faced by survey businesses is the fear of having to return back to site because of missed data. What we can do with the hover map system, either on the drone or on the backpack, is that we can actually view the live point cloud feed. This actually means that we can, whilst collecting the data, make sure that we've not missed any key areas. The Emerson hover map can be used in three modes. Firstly, mapping mode, which is utilized on the backpack like we've done today. Secondly, in plus mode, which is utilizing the virtual shield around the drone and finally in full autonomy. Like any survey project, planning was key. We did a full risk assessment and reconnaissance of the site before we came, and also we had numerous sprotters around site to make sure that the full location was under our control. We conducted overall two flights via drone, which were 25 minutes each, and one 30 minute backpack scan on top. 